Hey everybody, so long time no see, but I have something exciting today. I recently have been getting into submitting cards to PSA to be graded, and uh, my friend takes care of all the shipping, and we give him the card. So shout out Mitchell, I really appreciate you taking the time to submit our cards. The following cards I'm going to show have came back from PSA in the last two months, three months, something like that. And I'm in the process of grading more, and when they come in, I'll make another video. But these are all childhood cards for the most part, so they meant a lot to me to encapsulate and get graded by PSA. Honestly, the grade didn't really even matter to me, but let's get started and look at some of these cards. So the first card is Deoxys EX from Deoxys. And uh, this is just a beautiful card. Got a little swirl right there. And I'm just so grateful to get these cards back and that they survived in my collection since my childhood. I pulled all these myself. I'll briefly show the back up to the camera so you can see the edge where if you're wanting to compare your own cards. Uh, this next card is a Japanese Houndor from Neo 2. Now this was given to me uh, for Christmas, I believe, by my friend Chase. So I did not grade this myself, but it's a really clean card and we had some trouble even seeing why this graded an eight, but nonetheless, it's a very beautiful card. So I really appreciate that. I had graded this one. It's got a nice swirl. Unfortunately, it came back an eight, but you can't always get the high grades that you want and you just have to appreciate the card and it's beauty for what it is. I got this one off of eBay from Japan. So it came all the way here to be graded by PSA. Next card is a Sneasel EX from Team Rocket Returns, a wonderful set if you're looking into vintage cards. A really beautiful card. Kind of looks like some rain falling down on the Sneasel. Got the Rocket logo at the bottom. Check out the back. So all these cards are similar where they do have hollow scratches for the most part is what made the grade. Uh, hit eights on a lot of these. Here's an Umbreon, one of my bigger cards in terms of value from Unseen Forces. We have a lot of people that just love Umbreon and it being an EX with all this holographic makes it really desirable of a card. And let's check out the back. These cards were stored in the old fashioned three ring binder, uh, binder sleeve page whatever they're called. So they were taken in and out of those. They, they received some hollow scratches due to that. But what can you do? You're a kid and you like looking at your cards. So sometimes you take them out and it is what it is. So here's another eight uh, Team Rocket. Another Sneasel. It's got a cool little swirl on the edge. I'd love the how the edge is hollow. That was always one of my favorite features about the EX cards. Typhlosion EX, I remember this was my favorite card as a kid. I love EX Sandstorm. The card is from that set and I love all the EXs from that set. This particular one, I was so happy when I pulled it and I love the white around the border. There's a swirl right there. A lot of these have swirls, which is really cool. And uh, it just makes the card even better when you have something like that. This is a Zapdos EX. I believe this came out of a 10. It is a Black Star promo as indicated on the label. Another Near Mint 8. Here is a Misty's Favor from Miracle Twins. I pulled this myself out of a Japanese booster box. This is a really beautiful card. I just wanted it encapsulated. I just love the hollow pattern with the heart. So it didn't matter what grade it got, but we'll take a mint nine. And I'm really happy with that. Here's a Delta Species Charizard. Got the eight. So as you can see, it is an electric type Charizard instead of the normal fire, which makes it pretty interesting. This one's from Crystal Guardians and it got an eight. Now we're moving into some non-Pokemon, but cool cards. If you've never seen Wizards of the Coast, who made Magic the Gathering, and some of the early Pokemon cards also made Harry Potter cards. 
And this particular set is from 2001 and it's a Quidditch Cup set. So I opened up this booster box on New Year's for a little celebration to myself for making it through the year. Because 2022 was a rough year for a lot of us, but we made it through. And this is so cool because you can see the wands move with the fireworks in the background. Fred and George Weasley. If you like Harry Potter, you'll really like these cards. The booster boxes for Quidditch Cup are relatively affordable for a set this old and made by Wizards of the Coast. I will say with these cards, the print quality was not the best, so it is extremely difficult to grade tins on a lot of the full holographic wizard cards. The, these particular cards that I'm showing have a population of zero on tens. They're all nine and eights that have been graded. So maybe one day you'll hit a 10 and props to you. I did not on this return, which is totally fine with me. Here is another Harry Potter card from Quidditch Cup. Usually you get about 13 hollows from the Harry Potter booster box, but usually about three or four of the hologram type full hollow cards. And the rest of the hollows I have sent to be graded and they are currently on assembly. So next up is the last card and it is an X Bloud EX that graded a mint nine. What's cool about this card and, and kind of funny is uh, this card I found in the attic when we had to move. Uh, my parents got a new job in another state and I had to relocate. So we had to clear out the childhood home. And I found this in the attic. It was in a three ring binder with three or four other cards. I don't remember if I had this card as a kid or, or where I got it, but I pulled it out, put it in the sleeve, and decided to grade it, and it came back a nine. And this card set in the attic of a state that gets fairly hot and somehow received a nine. So it just tells you that PSA is subjective. This card's actually got a white dot, and every single corner has whitening. But we're not going to complain. It is a mint nine. So that's all I have today but we will be getting in some more returns soon and i really hope you enjoyed the video until next time stay safe and i'll see you soon